let's have a look at simplifying fractions. So if we have simplifying them, what we want to do is we want to divide both the numerator and denominator by the same number. Okay, so for example, if I take 6 and 8, I think about what is the highest common multiple of 6 and 8. And so I might say, right, I could divide 6 and 8 both by the number 2. So if I was to divide 6 by 2 and divide 8 by 2, then that would give me 3 over 4. If I was to do the same thing with 9 and 12, think about what's your highest common factor of 9 and 12. In that case, it would be 3. So if I was to divide both the numerator and the denominator by 3, then that will give me um, 3 over 4. Okay. Lastly, if I've got 12 over 16, lowest highest common factor is 4. So just as another way to represent this, I could actually write that 12 as 3 times 4 over 16, which is 4 times 4. And now because I'm multiplying top and bottom by the same thing, I can cancel those 4 out to leave me with 3 over 4. Okay, so there's two different ways there that you could do it. Or if you've gotten to the stage where you're more confident, you might have a fraction, say, 5 over 10, and you might know your times tables and cancelling really well and just go, right, that's the same as I can cancel that down to 1 over 2. Okay, so any of those methods would be acceptable.